Yeah, Ben is back. Uh, the only one at the moment is uh, Wilf, that is still still injury. And we have also uh, Will Alves, that he had the other day after the game after with the under-21. He got injury, muscle problem. And I think yeah, that's all. And in that show, is he available again after Ofcom? He's available, yes. That's a huge boost, isn't it? Having him back and not having any new injuries, you must feel... Very good about where the squad's at. Yeah, for sure. But uh, as we said probably already many times, uh, one of our best uh, player or best position uh, is Wilf. That uh, when he was not there, we used Cesare. Now Wilf is not there. Cesare is not there. We are trying to adapt. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, Wilf is still still injured. How pivotal a game do you feel this is in terms of your season and promotion? How important is the game? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's an important game. Uh, as we said already many times, mm, from now on, every t every game is important because when you win, you see yourself close to the final target. When you draw points, you are a little bit uh, sad. But in this moment, it's a matter of uh, balance. Uh, we have still... 13 games after tomorrow game, 12 games. So we are in the rush, uh, final rush and final run. And yeah, hopefully we can we can we can finish well. But for sure, it's an important game. But at the end, I said many times, uh, three points tomorrow and three points is the next game. Yeah, how important for you to wrestle back the momentum because what eight games ago the gap was 17 points. How important to stop the run that seems to be the trend that seems to be evolving whereby we go more court. We never uh, give any importance to the points difference, to be honest. It was 17, but it was also 8. Now it's 9. So which is the difference? It was 17, then 8, now 9, could be 6, could be 12. It's, it's the final target, we see. And how do you ensure that there's no doubt creeping into your players' minds as well? No, just uh, uh, we said we said already, we try to prepare the game in the way we want to try. Uh, then we can't, we can't control the final results. We saw the other day when we completely dominated the game, many shooting, but at, at, the, at the end we lost. So we, we are going to try to, to do our game. And in any case, I don't think uh, in this moment, uh, it doesn't matter tomorrow results. Uh, we have more confidence or less confidence because since day one we are there. We are trying to uh, finish well, and so will be one more game. And does winning the title mean anything to you, or is it just about promotion? But to be honest, for me it's just uh, <laughs> finishing the first show. Now, if we if we are able to finish first, good, happy. But at the end, it's it's important to. Uh, for the club, for the fans, for us, uh, to finish to finish well. Have you thought about how many points you might need in order to secure that free place? No idea, to be honest, no idea, because uh, it's, it's so, you know, it's so, so, so not strange, but you can see uh, us dropping points against uh, Boro, uh, uh, Southampton dropping points, Leeds is winning every game now, so you don't know how many games they're going to win again, or it's, it's difficult. It's just a tomorrow game, and then we see game after game. And finally, from me, what are you expecting from Leeds? Last time you guys met, was very tight. More of the same? Yeah, I think uh, they are quite uh, similar. Uh, I think they are very dangerous when the opposite has the ball, uh, because in the moment they, they recover the ball, they are quite a tra transitional uh, team. Also on the ball, they are very good player, especially the four at front. They are very dangerous. They are quick. They are quality. They are fantastic player. Hi, I'm sorry. Hope you're okay. Um, just on Will Alves, how long are you expecting to be without him for? They said me three, four weeks. Okay. And what is the the muscle problem? To be honest, I don't know. Okay. Um, we have talked about selection being good for you because you have a, a lot of your, your players fit and available now. Do, do, you, do you have headaches about which players you're going to play in certain positions or 
have you found yourself getting into a rhythm and the players getting into a rhythm with, with the, 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 the starting 11 that you play? No, oh, anyway, we have always some doubt. Uh, the good thing is that uh, uh, we can choose in this moment. Unfortunately, as I said, we cannot choose uh, that position, that player, that for us is very important. But uh, yeah, it's, it's good that we can choose now. Leeds United have a very good home record. They've not lost a home all season. But what, what do you think the reason for that is? They, they didn't lose at home or they, they lost at home? I don't think they've lost it. Ah, okay. I don't know, mate, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm, it's more about, I always say the same, it's more about you, how many games you win, you lose. The, it's, it's just tomorrow. The reason why they didn't draw points uh, or they didn't lost, uh, lose this season at home, uh, I don't know, the last time I was there, we won with City, so they can lose at home. I don't know, to be honest, I don't know. Probably they said that uh, the environment is very good, that is true, but... Uh, the fans, they are not going to win game. At the end, it's 11 uh, 11. When the two sides met at King Power Stadium earlier this season, they were very aggressive. I know you spoke about the way that they played. Uh, are you expecting a similar performance from them tomorrow, the similar sort of game style to be aggressive against you? Yeah, side? for sure, especially, especially at home. If they are already like this away, they can be even more at home. Yeah. Uh, would you say that this is maybe the biggest game of the season so far because of the context that goes with it, because it's top two, because of the, the league. It's, yeah, it's a huge, huge, huge game for them. For us, it's one more game. If you could go to Ellen Road and win, how, how big a moment would that be in the season? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, would be good, especially because winning tomorrow, that means that you need less points to reach the final target. But in case we are not going to win and we draw and we lose, we are still there and we are going to fight until the end. And final one from me, Enzo. I mean, bar, on, bar one occasion this season, um, every time you've lost a game, you've been able to bounce back and been able to win maybe one, two, three, however many more. How important is that trait in your side, that bounce back ability um, after, after the defeat to Middlesbrough on Saturday? Yeah, very important. But uh, I think this year we lost Chuga Minero. That was Leeds and Boro. And then after Boro, we, I think we won 8 of 10 or something like this. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we can, we, can, we can win and start again. That as we said already, in this moment, if you are able to make 4 or 5 wins in a row, probably it's finished because uh, there, is not, there are no more games. Thank you. Thank you very much. Best of tomorrow. Thank you. Excellent. Hi, Andrew. Um, how important will trying to quieten the crowd be for the first 10 or 15 minutes of the game tomorrow? Yeah, for sure it will be very important if we are able to decrease uh, their uh, environment. That will be a key. But the only way we have is keeping the ball. And tomorrow we're going to try to go there and make, make our football, trying to control the game with the ball, avoiding some transition that happened in the first leg that uh, they had uh, most of the chances or the chances they had, they were all of them uh, because we lost the ball. And, but also in the same time, we cannot think to go there and uh, don't go. And we, we are not going to lose the ball. It's going to happen. It's just time matter of manage this this moment. You just mentioned then to Ellen that it's a huge, huge game for Leeds, but for yourselves, it's just another game. Why is that? Why, why is it such a big game for them and not for you? But the reason why is because uh, I, I think that uh, it's an important game. But I, as I said, in this moment, every time you are able to win games, you see yourself close to the target. So if this happens tomorrow, we see ourselves more close to the target. In case it doesn't happen, we go for, for, for the next game. Why for me it's huge for them and not for us? For us also, it's a huge game, but for them probably even more because they are nine points in, in behind us. So this is the, the, the only reason. Now, if it was in the other side, us, nine points in behind, uh, guys, probably is the game that uh, yes or yes, we have to, we have to win. But uh, I, don't, I don't have this, this feeling. For sure, we go there, like always, since day one, try to win the game. But I think it's, it's uh, for me, it's uh, three points, no more than that.